<laughs> what up guys we're back with another video and this is something new that we started and this is a first look in Razer Cortex a new beta software for probably the replacement of Razer Game Booster so we're gonna go out and load, load this sucker up and figure out what's what's inside it we're gonna actually do a first look inside Razer Cortex I have actually already logged in so that you guys wouldn't be able to see any of my account info or any of that sort and any of the account info that will appear on the top right or anywhere else will be blurred out so that you guys can't see it but as you can see basically it just tells you everything of your games um it looks like as if you can uh let's let's find a game we could test it out on so we're gonna load up this and it looks like you could sync your game saves to razor cortex it's like a save backup or kind of like uh, or automatic save backup Kind of like what Steam already does, but I don't think there's really any need for it if you're if you're running all your games from Steam. It saves all all this all your settings and saves. It seems like, and also tells you the deals on uh, getting games really cheap, like Tomb Raider for five dollars. Ooh, I only got I only got I have Tomb Raider already. I got it for like two dollars, and that was on Steam. Um, then it shows all your deals of different games and different promotions you can find on Razer Cortex. As you can see, Watch Dogs is five, or Sleeping Dogs is six dollars somewhere. It is. Let's go ahead and look it up. Oh, and it even tells you the prices of different compare, compare it to different places. So originally it's like twenty dollars. You can get it for five dollars. That's that's nice. Obviously, they have some partnership with uh, Game GameStop or any of them sorts or Gamesgate and all that. They probably Gamersgate. They probably have partnerships up with them. As you can see, like save sixty dollars and all that. Probably something like that or you can add a game to your wish list so that you can keep a close eye on it while you're boosting up your games um, so there is a boosting option obviously there is um, you can turn automatic boost so that it automatically boosts up your boost up your game once once you start it up uh, I have no need in doing that because as you can see I barely have any processes running except for that one Chrome is just a lot of processing for some reason um, you could diagnose your computer analyze it as you can see I could do a Razer Corex uh, diagnostics I have total of 8 gigabytes of RAM on my computer if you guys were wondering I'm not gonna ahead and stop it so I don't so uh, there's no point in me doing it uh, I've already done the optimization this was for the old version of Steam or old version of Razer I've already or uh, Game Booster I've already done that you could defrag your games too isn't that fucking sick um, just so you know defragging your games does help it and make it go faster it is true. It does make it go faster. Now you can update your drivers along with it too, but I don't really have anything to update really. But um, there's also an FPS meter, so you can move around your FPS meters and you can tell how much FPS you have. Um, then we got sync games. Obviously. Oh, that's uh, like new Dropbox to get started and I'll make a sync your game data. Oh, I see how it works. Runs through Dropbox. So all all the uh, all your game saves are saved in the Dropbox and not saved in the Razer. That's nice. That's very sick. And you can change, you can edit your account and everything. You could even share. You can seems like you can make screenshots. Just it's like it's basically a reboot of the Razer Game Booster. There's really no difference between this and anything else really. But um, I put mine in the JPEG. Uh, video capture, it looks like everything's the same. I never actually tried the video capture for the, uh, for Razer Game Booster or anything like that, or Razer Cortex. Never really tried it yet, but I am a little eager to, to see how, how well it performs. But, anyways, this seems like just about all of them. It seems like you can add your own custom games, like add programs, so like, let's, we can add Skyrim, we can add, um... Daisy Commander, we can add Metro Redux, Saints Row 2, Modern Warfare 2. Most of and most of the retail games you can add on to here, as you can see, Battlefield Back Company 2 is right there. Most of my most of my games are in here, but not all of them. But anyways, guys, we're gonna go ahead and drop the video here. I just wanted to show you guys what exactly Razor Cortex was. It's just a reboot with a little cool added functions which is pretty dope to be able to find deals like these is a pretty good tool to have but anyways guys 
please comment, rate, subscribe. I hope that this video was uh, useful to you guys, and I hope you guys got a kick out of this. My name is Shadow Tay Amazing, also known as Alex Duncan, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.